everyone. Today we got to play Llama Land. You basically get to build a pasture with a bunch of llamas, which is kind of fun. All right, so, but before we get into it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because llamas are awesome. Uh, and board games are awesome and we have lots of them. And we do have lots of them and we've got a lot of good ones coming up. So hit the subscribe button. All right, Randy, tell us more about Llama Land. So Llama Land was a 2021 release. Mm -hmm. uh, it is from uh, or has a rating of 7.5 currently and a rank of 2556 on Board Game Geek. Mm -hmm. Two to four players, uh, 45 minute average play length, and that's about right. Yeah. Uh, age is 10 and up. Uh, you might be able to go a little younger. It's not that complex of a game, but it, it, that's about some of the leveling right. scoring and the end of game score might yeah. be a little difficult for anyone younger. Yeah. Uh, designed by Phil Walker Harding. Art is Clemens Franz, published by Lookout Games. It has an MSRP of $39.99, but I found it online in several different places for about $31, $32. All okay, right, cool. All right, so um, this game was actually introduced to us by your sister. She mm -hmm. came over and she taught us how to play, so yay. And then Randy proceeded to buy the game because uh, <laughs> it was her copy. Um, all right, so let's talk about quality of pieces. So there is a lot of cardboard chits. There's a lot of cardboard tiles that you end up, um, it's a kind of a tetris -y kind of thing that you've got going on when you build your mountain pasture. Um, and, you know, the card quality is not linen finished. They are kind of little on the thin side, but not horrible. Um, so over, uh, you do have wooden llama, llamas that are actually, you know, shaped like llamas. I thought those were super cute. Mm -hmm. Um, the cardboard chits for the corn, the resources are shaped appropriately. So they're not just all, you know, the same cut. Um, you do have, um, the money bits. Those are just, you know, little circle tiles. Um, then you have something over there. Yeah, I will say that they weren't perforated fully, and I had one tear when I was punching the tiles out. Not real bad, but a little piece of it tore. You had to be very careful punching them. So yeah. they, they could have done a better job on the perforations. Yeah, so overall quality of pieces for this, I would say, is a six. Yeah, I think so. I, I mean, mean, the llamas are really the only cool thing. Yeah, yeah, I'd say a six is probably a fair score. Yeah, all right, so now let's talk about theme. Um... It's a cute theme, your face is. So you, you've got a bunch of um, Tetris tiles and you're trying to build up a, you know, mountain llama land. <laughs> well, mountain, but yeah, hillside Well, I mean, hillside, pasture. a hillside pasture. Um, and as you cover up resources, you gain those resources. And so that's kind of fun. Um, you don't score based on level. Well, that's more about scoring. Well, you but, can, but yeah. But not, not really. Um, so, but more to the theme, it, it's cute. It's yeah. there. Uh, you're really in pasture. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's layered on, but it's you know, it's a cute, fun family. Yeah, theme. like yeah, and that's that's as far as it goes. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, for theme, I'll I'll give this a six because it's super cute. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's fun. I like the little uh, villagers too. So yeah, the, it's the artwork's even cute. And yeah, that's why I'll I'm give like... it a six point five just because of the cuteness factor. Okay, cool. All right, so now let's dig into rules. Um, we didn't have to learn the rules through rule no, because I, luckily I we got taught. Them just to make sure there wasn't something I, we'd forgotten or missed. Yeah. But it was, it's an eight page rule book. It's, so there's not a lot to it. No, the first page is half you know, cover, half you know, mm -hmm. contents. And the back page is just the different objectives yeah. uh, detail. Uh, and then there's you know some variants on the back page on the inside, and then the in-game scoring. So it's a very simple read. Uh, it is segmented. It, it's you know it's easy to read, easy to understand. There's not really any confusion in this game. It's mm -hmm. it's so simplistic. You can't really go wrong in a rule book, and it's laid out nicely. I'll go ahead and give it an eight. I think it's fine. Okay, cool. Eight for rule book. All right. So moving to actual gameplay. So. Um, basically during the course, so you start out with a square tile, um, and you can choose either to put a tile on top or put it on the side. So, um, so for, so for an example, if I were to put it onto the side here, I would get the opportunity to place my end of game scoring tokens. So there are, 
Um, is it depending on player count? Or no, no, there's going to be seven out. There's going to be four, there's four that are based upon the distribution of your llamas mm -hmm. and three based upon other conditions, generally the number of different types of alpaca or the amount of coins that you've got. Yeah, at the end of the game. Or All alpaca, right. llamas. I keep yeah. calling them alpaca with their llamas. I don't know why. Um, so, but yeah, so basically you get to get the choice to lay down your end of, uh, end of victory token. You cannot place on one you've already placed a card. Like, so if I already have one on one card, I can't place a second token knowing I'm going to achieve it. You have to do something different. Now there are three different levels. So if you're the first one to claim to, to do something, obviously it's going to be worth more victory points. Um, however, I do say that this game is forgiving in the fact that if you lay another side tile and you don't like where you're placed, you can move yeah, if you, your piece. If you so, find you're in a situation where you can't complete like you got into this game, you can move it, but you're going to suffer a lot. Or you're not going to get as many points for it. Right, because you're moving it to something else, but at least you can get that something else versus not at all. Um, so there is. So I, I do like the fact that it is a little forgiving in that mm. instance. Um, so that was kind of nice. So then the other option is actually to lay on top. Now, if you lay on top, um, you get the resources that you lay on top of. So in this particular case, I get two corn and a village. Now, um, the village lets you pick up a card that gives you a special ability you can use once per round. Um, the other option is, is there is a coin tile, so you can choose to get a well, not choose, but you'll get a coin if you lay on top of it. And then the other ones are resources. So there's corn, cocoa. Cacao, not cocoa. Not cocoa, cacao. So, okay, and a potato, whatever it is. All right, so then you get those three resources if you lay on top of them. Now, some of those, some of the cards let you bend rules. Like, for example, there's one card that lets you do if you get one of each, you get extra coins, or you may get, uh, if you get land on two corn, you get an extra corn. So there are those, those cards, those villagers can modify a little bit of what you place. Um, but, so as you collect resources, at the end of your turn, you can choose to buy a, a llama. Now, um, the cost of the llamas are four of the same resource, okay? Um, so you can choose to spend your coins, two coins for any resource that you need. So say if you're just one shy, you've got two coins, you can choose to get it. Um, cause there is a little speed component on how fast you want to get the llamas. Cause the, as the llamas get taken, they're worth less. So obviously the first one to them, it's worth more and victory they points. Give, they, they have a lot of llamas in the pile. You shuffle them and based upon player count, you're going to draw so many of them. Uh, in this case with three players, it was eight. Yeah. So for each one, there was eight and it's a random draw. So there could be really low scoring ones or really high scoring ones or a mixture. Yeah. So I noticed like the Coco ones weren't as worth many, as many points, but so no one went after them. So I had plenty to, to go kind of go from there. So that was kind of beneficial. Uh, but you can take that and kind of gauge it. So that gives a little variety to the game. Not a lot, but it does give a little bit. Um, and then that's it. End of game is triggered when there's either four tiles left or only one set of llamas left. Um, and that's it, right? Uh, yeah. The, uh, the one thing when you're placing your tile, you cannot place, apart from the starter tile, the big four by four square, you cannot place it all on one tile. You have to right. place it so you can't cover the same tile with the same tile. You have to place it such that it covers two, two or more tiles. Correct. Um, you know, apart from that, I think that's you covered everything. Uh, it's a very simplistic game. At the end of the game, you're scoring the value of all the llamas you've gotten, the value of any of the conditions that you've met, uh, which is up to four because you have four tokens, and then any resources you have are left over or worth a victory point, and any coins every two is worth a victory point. And you just sum up your you totals. You won by half a point last game. Yeah. When we no, played with your sister. This game I won handily. Yeah, so I don't want to talk about it. Cause well, I, I actually didn't... didn't win last time. I can beat you by half a point. Oh, Craig, okay. I believe, won. Okay, well, still. Because Craig's a jerk. <laughs> All right, so, I mean, overall, I thought this was a really cute uh, game. I love the, t the, the tech tetris tiles to it um i think that was a lot of fun and trying to build up you know and, and i like the fact that it's a little forgiving on your bonus mm -hmm. tiles but yet there is a penalty in the fact that you don't necessarily get the best choice um so there's a lot of things that i do like about this game i thought it was cute and that's why i didn't complain too much when you ended up buying it because i thought that this one would be a good one to yeah. play with, with family or with some new 
some new people that maybe like some of those Tetris type, Tetris type games. Yeah. Um, I thought this was a really we, we, game. which is us. We like Tetris type games. So well, I'm talking about like, some of our family well, too. I know some we're, of the lighter the lighter games yeah. that, that would like that Tetris component, but it's still meaty enough to where it's not. You know, it's it's. You know, so it, it fits a well-rounded group of players. Yeah, I like having a variety of, you know, starter, not really, this is an entry-level game, I would say, yeah, probably. It's a light, light to medium at best, but I think it's pretty light. Yeah, uh, I mean, I would go with solid light, but yeah. it's not a, I don't know, I don't know if I would call it an intro-level either. Yeah, it's not quite Ticket to Ride simplistic, but it is pretty simplistic. Yeah. Uh, um, but it's one that we can easily teach to new players. And I like having a variety of those because I get bored if I play the same ones over and over and over again. So having a variety of those is good. Yeah. So give it a score, though. Given that we, we played it on Christmas Eve and immediately I wanted to buy it because I knew that it was something we could get to the table. Uh, and the fact that we played it again, and I still feel the same. I still enjoyed it. Uh, probably a little more so because I won. Um I'm going to probably go ahead and give this a 7.5. I think that's where I'm at on it. Okay. Yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty good for where this game is at. Um, it was good. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, I definitely see that we'll get this out for, for you know, several groups that we'll play with. And um, I think everyone will have a great time. So I definitely consider this one as a win by. Um, is it going to make my top 10 list? No, but it's still solid. Mm -hmm. So... Um, with that, I agree with you. 7.5 seems very good for this. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. We had an absolute blast tonight. Hopefully, you'll come and hang out with us again. We'll catch you guys later. Bye. Bye.